So this is how my friends and I made a giant gingerbread town. The first step was 3D modeling all the houses that we wanted. We knew that we wanted to make multiples of certain types of houses, so it made sense to make cookie cutters so they'd all be the same. I modeled these up in Rhinoceros and then exploded each of the walls and sent them to Caleb. Caleb then turned the shapes into cookie cutters and himself and Nathan printed them on their 3D printers. Next we had to do some quick maths to find out how many batches of gingerbread we'd need to make. So I'm thinking when we get this final area number, we divide that by the 30 centimetres by 30 centimetres that we had originally yes. to see how many batches we need. Do you think we could do a guesstimate? Oh, I reckon we can do a guesstimate of 1.5 million for yeah. everything. So this is our base recipe. From this we need to figure out how many single units fit into each packet of ingredient so that we can figure out how many packets we need to buy. We need more flour! Flour! What? And beat the devil out of it. So we've got all our houses uh, for this section of our little plan and I think we're just going to decorate all of them, make them all super fancy so we can just perfect that section and just do it like one at a time. Um, these are some zappos cut in half. These are musk sticks cut. Right, we're cutting up teeny tiny marshmallows into teeny tinier marshmallows to make a tiled roof for my teeny tiny house. Excellent.
So it wasn't until the town was completely done that we realised it's not going to fit out the door, let alone through the stairwell to the ground floor. So that meant our only option was to lower it down the second story balcony. This is Ellie, she's <laughs> gonna be my camera woman today. Yep. What's the plan, Ellie? Um, we're about to put yeah, this but, town like that, over this ledge. And then we're gonna Heck. die. Planning to have zero live Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stress a <laughs> So we want to document it from a lot of angles so that whatever happens we can cut and chop off the best film. Especially for falls, you want multiple drop shots. <laughs> I will cry while editing that. I'm just gonna use one. Yeah, see, that's why I think we should have. We should actually just fold these two cuts separately. Nathan, you muppet. Alright, so we're lining it up with the balcony. Heading to where the drop zone is. Pretty solid distance. We'll be dropping it from up there. Got Tasha and Nathan on catching duty. How are you feeling, Tash? Not even a single dinosaur fell over. I'm actually so shocked. Can you just help the legs down? Hold up. 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 Hold <laughs> if we couldn't take this off, I would have cried. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just put it down here for now. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy from jumping so in the middle. 10 out of 10, guys. That is it.